I'm gonna be real guys. AI is changing the Etsy game forever. Literally forever. Right now, there is a fantastic new feature called the ChatGPT agent, which you can all access. And it's literally coming in the last couple of weeks, which you can use to actually do your research for you, get it to find exactly what you want, pinpoint it and bring it to you on a silver plate. Guys, the game is changing and you need to keep up because if you don't, you're going to get left behind. So on this video, I want to show you exactly how you can use ChatGPT with this new feature to help you identify those true bestsellers, those recent ones, ones that you can actually jump on quickly because they're very recent trending ones. So you can actually very quickly jump on it, make your money really quickly before anybody else realizes. And this is what I'm trying to say, guys. You can literally get the agent to go away, do its thing, sit back, sip a cup of tea, watch a bit of TV and chill out. This is the levels that we're going to. And you know what? To be honest with you, it's going to change even further. There'll be a day where you don't even have to do anything. So day by day, the AI game is changing and you do need to keep up. So if you are wanting to sell digital products and keep up with all the new changes, then don't please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you can get more of my videos in your feed. And guys, if you don't know me already, my name's AJ. I do all things digital products, AI, Etsy, and all of that good stuff. So you can benefit, make money, and all of that stuff. Anyways, check it out. Look, I'm on ChatGPT right now. And what you can see is literally the blank screen, right? This is what you need to do, guys. And please focus with me. Now, on the underneath uh, Ask Anything, you've got tools, right? Now, when I click on it, you'll see that there's many different tabs there. And you can see there's something called Agent Mode, and it's new. It actually says new on it, okay? Okay, guys, so what I've done is I've just literally pasted uh, a prompt, right? I've just written a prompt. It's quite a simple prompt. It's not that complicated. I'm going to put this on Agent Mode as well, sorry. All right, it's on Agent Mode now. Pasted my prompt. Now, basically, what I've done is I've just said... Um, I want you to search for clip arts on Etsy.com. So I'm looking at something specific, clip arts. You can even um, drill down even more. So remember, go into your particular niche, what you sell, and then just say to search for your niche on Etsy.com. I've just sort of reiterated, I said digital product clip arts. Also, just show the best sellers with the listings, listing age of a maximum of two months. I only want a two month maximum listing age. I want it recent, right? Check each listing to make sure there are at least 10 sales in the last 24 hours and 20 plus in the basket, right? These are things that I've just added, which hopefully will show me trending recent listings that are already starting to make money and have a good chance of growing as the months go on, right? And But I've also said, please do not include any big bundles. I don't want big bundles listings. I want um, clip art designs, but not, let's say, the whole store bundles, right? Um, so I've said do not include any big bundles. So hopefully you'll filter that. Now, guys, this is like, honestly, I've done this before and it's blown my mind because I just can't believe what's happening, like what's going on. And you're going to see this right, right now when I actually show you, you're going to be in absolute shock and you won't even believe what's happening. So look, I've done that. I can get into more detail and I do suggest if you do want to add more things to it, filter more things, you can, you know, add more information and it will also help do that. Sometimes you might even want to sub niche, right? So add all that information in as much as you want to get exactly what you want and it will do it for you. So once you've gone to the agent, then you can click obviously submit and it's going to start working. Now, just check this out, please, because this is this is a little bit different to what you're used to. Now, what it's doing is it's setting up a desktop. So what it's going to do is it's going to set up a, a basically a screen and it's going to show you what it's going to be doing, right? Um, so right now, it's actually gone onto the Etsy uh, site and it's talking to me while it's showing me. So it's saying now I'm analyzing certain listings within the clip arts, which is what I've asked it to do. And it's telling me step by step, as you can see on screen, you can see words appearing, and it's telling me what it's doing. It's saying there is, I'm checking these out, these listings, I'm searching clip arts, I'm looking at specifics in terms of your 
um, your uh, prompt of what you've asked. I'm checking the, the, the data. It's telling me what it's doing. Look, you can see the Etsy.com website. It's actually looking at things that have been bought in the last 24 hours, what's in the baskets. It's literally doing everything, right? It's doing everything right now. Look, and the beautiful thing is it's showing me what it's doing. So I can actually see live and you can see that it says live. This is live right now. What is, what's happening? It's actually typed in uh, clip arts. It's, it's, it's like there's a person working on my behalf. That's what it feels like. It's like your, your own assistant, somebody that you've paid to do something. But yet this is AI doing it for me. Look, they're actually navigating around the Etsy.com website, looking at various things, right? And then sometimes it's checking something, it likes it, it doesn't like it. Um, but look, and this will go on. This is not going to be like straight away. This will go on. It'll probably take maybe about 10 minutes, a bit less. And it's going to be checking and checking and checking with the criteria that I've asked it. And like I said, you can just watch it live. In fact, you can go away and you can do something completely different and go and maybe, you know, do some work, type in, do some designing possibly, and let it do its thing. Guys, this is the future. And what's going to be happening is ChatGPT and other AI platforms, you will be able to ask it to do a task. And soon enough, and I don't think this is far away, it's going to be researching, designing, listing up, doing everything, all the SEO for you. And all you do need to do is just ask it to do it. Just just create a really good prompt and it's going to go away and do everything for you. It's crazy. It's mind-blowing. But guys, remember, if you love things like this and, and ways to actually make money from digital products and, and AI and help you actually do things a little bit quicker, then remember, do hit the like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Do check out my um, school community as well, guys. Um, I do try to list up trending designs on a regular basis. And also, um, you can get also lots of tips and ideas. So do check that out. The link is below. Um, but this is absolutely phenomenal, guys. I'm, I'm talking and I'm just looking. Because when I first saw this, I was in complete shock because I thought, this is crazy. This is, this is gone. Like, we are in a new world right now. Um, so remember, if you've got any questions about this as well, do say chat GPT in the, in the comments below and I'll answer as quick as I can. Um, but yes, this is what you need to do right now as soon as the video is over. So as you can see, it's just literally analyzing all the listings that it believes meets the criteria. Um, and it's telling me what it's doing. It's saying, um, I will search for items on Etsy by using the phrase bought in the last 24 hours. This can help me find popular. So it's doing what I've asked. And it keeps trying different ways of, uh, of finding that information out so that it can be precise. And this is what it is. It's about being precise in its search. And look, you can see that it's analyzing. And like I said before, guys, this is completely live. This is not something that has happened before. This is happening right now. So I'm going to give it, leave it a little bit of time and uh, I'll come back to it. Um, and see where it's got to, right? So I'll stop talking now and then let's just, let me give it a few more minutes and let's see what it does. Okay, so the AI agent has got back to me now and uh, this took approximately 10 minutes to produce. Um, yeah, this took about 10 minutes to produce and, and it's given me a whole concise thing of a few listings. Um, obviously, I need to check for a few things. Um, just to make sure. I didn't actually specify how many listings I wanted it to come up with. Um, it did give me one, two, uh, three, four listings. Obviously, I can specify I wanted more listings. I can specify a lot of things, but I just didn't in the prompt that I gave it. Um, it did say that it has searched listings for downloads, for bestsellers, for last 24 ones that have been purchased in the last 24 hours, 20 plus in a basket, all the things that I specified. And it's given me a table. Obviously, I need to just double check these and make sure they are okay and they work. And it's given me a table where it's given me the listing name, um, the evidence that it's a bestseller and how it's a bestseller. For example, 
it says this first listing says the listing page shows bestseller badge and it also shows 20 plus in a basket with the price um, and so forth. So it's showing the evidence that it's a bestseller and that it's, it is what I asked it to do. Um, the listing date it's given me so that I can actually see that it's in the last two months. This one's listed actually really recently. This one's listed yesterday. Wow. Um, yeah, so small. And it's also said um, it hasn't avoided to give me listings with large bundles. Like this one is a small set of two PNG designs. That's cool. So let's look at that top one because that one, that top one seems to meet all the criteria. Remember, you do need to double check after the agent sends you the information because, you know, they do make mistakes too. But at least all the hard work is pretty much done. So let me just click on the link to see the first one now. Let's very quickly, let's analyze it. Okay, guys. So look, you know, it's obviously produced a, um, a nice list of um, of listings, right? That meet the criteria that I've asked for. And it's kind of, you know, explained at the top, you know, um, that these are listings within your criteria that are bestsellers, um, that have 20 plus in a basket that are within the last two listed listing age within the last two months. Now, it's given me one, two, three, four. I haven't specified how many listings I wanted it to produce, but it's given me four. And it's uh, given me the names of the listings. It's given me evidence that they are bestsellers and should be of interest for me within my criteria. You see at the top, it also gives me the listing date and the file details and also some extra notes with regards to, you know, um, bestseller status and some strong recent demand of these. Now, obviously, I can I can ask for more listings that it can produce for me. Um, but now is a case of validation. I would probably do an initial validation where I would click on the link for each one of these that are provided. You can see the links are underneath each one, making sure that it does meet my criteria, making sure that the listing age is what I asked it, making sure that obviously you know, other things, whether it be um, listings that are um, making sure that I'm not looking at anything else like copyright images, things like that. Look, ChatGBT will make mistakes. It will do. Um, but it is a method of speeding up the process for your research. But what I also suggest is once you do find good listings that you feel like are working, then do an extra layer of validation. And what I like to do is I like to use Everbee. So do check out my um, uh, videos on it where I show you how to do research and validate designs that actually are working, selling, trending. So you can actually do another layer. And what I suggest is you take your, to click on the link that you feel like something that you would look like to look into and then verify everything using Everbee by looking at all the different criteria again. And once you've done that, then obviously you can look to do similar design as long as it sort of meets everything that you've asked it and uh, obviously create it in your own unique way. So, you know, now we can see that ChatGPT can help you do your, refine your research and literally can speed up that process. It will refine your design. And again, the design side is going to improve day on day, especially with ChatGPT 5 coming out very soon as well already competing with the likes of Midjourney, Dali, Leonardo, and it's only going to get better. This is a method of research, design, also getting all the good SEO research words, tags, and so on. It, it's going to actually be your complete package and it's going to help you do everything. But with anything, it can make mistakes. So it's always a good way to check on these things and look at ways of making sure that you are filtering through any of those mistakes. But Generally, this is a really big step, guys. The agent is a really massive step now. And literally, day on day, there are improvements. So listen, guys, if you do love things with ChatGPT, you want to know about how to speed up the process to create design research on Etsy and also more about um, AI platforms that are coming out, then remember, please hit the like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. And don't forget to write in the comments below chat gpt or ai so that i can i know that you are interested in this and i can produce more videos around it remember do check out the prompt that was done at the beginning of the video but do refine it and do add more detail to it 
Guys, hope you liked the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.